General Hospital spoilers tease that Sonny Corinthos wouldn't be stupid enough to not know what's been happening to his own body. That's true, considering that all of Sonny's bipolar medications were placebos. And instead of making it all public, Sonny will secretly investigate it all and eventually make it public during the custody trial of Avery Corinthos. Ava Jerome and Scott Baldwin embark on a complicated and risky plan. Their goal is to make Sonny lose control and end up in jail. The plan was bold and daring, built on the premise of exploiting Sonny's well-documented temper. Scott's role in this plot is simple but very important, he assists Ava in creating situations that will provoke Sonny. That would provoke Sonny's hot temper, and Sonny might attack someone. Scott uses this against Sonny. But Scott doesn't know all the details, especially the more sinister aspects of Ava's strategy. Unknown to Scott, Ava has ventured into dangerous unethical territory. She is manipulating Sonny's bipolar medication regimen, a key element in managing his mental health. This was no simple joke or joke, it was a calculated move to destabilize Sonny from the inside out. Sonny's bipolar disorder makes him vulnerable and Ava intends to use this vulnerability to her advantage. She aimed to aggravate his condition. She hopes that an episode, left unchecked, will tarnish his reputation and leverage in his personal and professional life. Meanwhile, Valentin Cassadine, with his own complex web of power and deception, plays a silent but important role. As the secret leader of the secret Pikeman group, Valentin is a master of manipulation and subterfuge. It was he who initially tampered with Sonny's medication, reducing its effectiveness by changing it to only one quarter of its original effect. By weakening Sonny's medication, Valentin ensures that the crime boss, usually astute and formidable, will be less able to manage his emotions and actions effectively. However, Ava takes things further. Her plan is both ambitious and dangerous. She completely switched Sonny's medication with a placebo, making his treatment virtually non-existent. This move isn't just about causing chaos, it's also about completely disarming Sonny. That turns him into an unpredictable force who can be manipulated to suit Ava's needs and purposes. The goal is clear, an unstable Sonny can be outmaneuvered in the custody battle over Avery. Sonny defies the challenges weighing on him. His instincts, honed through years of navigating the dangerous world of organized crime. That told Sonny that something was wrong with his own health. Sonny quietly begins his investigation, tracing the source of his escalating unrest to his pharmacist. This pharmacist, under pressure and persuasion from Sonny, was forced to keep detailed records of every prescription that Ava forged. Sonny's silent counterattack is a testament to his tenacity and tactical genius. By restoring the maximum potency of bipolar medications. Not only did Sonny regain his mental stability, Sonny also devised a strategy that could turn the tide on his opponent. The culmination of these efforts will take place in the courtroom, where the stakes could not be higher. Sonny's meticulous evidence gathering, and the pharmacist's witness testimony, were important elements of his defense. They painted a vivid picture of Ava's manipulation and deception, exposing the lengths to which she went to try to sabotage him. The courtroom drama promises to be intense, as Sonny prepares to expose Ava's true nature. The evidence not only cleared his name, but also secured Avery's future, ensuring that she remained in his care. Ava's inevitable downfall will be swift and unforgivable, as the full weight of her betrayal becomes undeniable. With his mental state strengthened and the truth on his side, Sonny was ready to declare victory. Of course, at that time Ava was forced to show her hands and be taken to prison right during the trial.